Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Zian Dizel and today I'm coming back with a grading video. I have the habit of showing bodice grading on the front, but today I'm doing a special request. I'm going to show you how to grade the back bodice. To show you the grading, I decide to use the basic bodice, the one that has a dart at the waist and a shoulder blade dart at the shoulder. To grade it, I'm going to use the same grading ruler that I use for my front bodice. As usual, the first thing is to trace all around your basic pattern. And of course, indicate both pivot. Maybe this is the first time you watch me grading using my ruler. So I just want to say that each color is a size, but if you do grade with letters like small, medium, large, extra large, you must skip one color. In fact, my ruler, they have 10 different sizes because one of the dots should be considered as your basic size pattern. Today, I trace my back block size 10 or 40 if you're using European sizes. I decide I'm going to grade the largest size, the last color on my ruler. I'm going to start the grading at the neck and shoulder point, just like you could see on my ruler. I'm going to start grading, placing my pattern hole at the basic point. I'm going to overlap with my neck and shoulder point on the trace line that I did. I'm going to hold it there and pivot the ruler until the center is parallel to the center or one of the lines that I propose here. When it's in position, you're going to dot the size that you want. My basic is a 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22. I will do the 22. We're going to grade the next point and we're going to use the shoulder and dart grading. We're going to place it at two places, the same, same grading rule on both notches so we could retrace the dart easily. You must know that this dart is going to remain exactly the same size, it's just going to move. So we're going to use the middle size again because I trace a size 10. So I place it on the first notch. I hold it there, I pivot my ruler until the grain line or one of my line is parallel to my center bodice and I point the larger size. I'm going to repeat for the second notch. So hold the same grading, place it on the second point. Again, you just put it parallel and point the last one. Now the next point, it's the shoulder and arm all point, my basic size. I overlap to the shoulder and arm all point. I'm going to pivot until it's parallel to the center back. Then I point the larger size. Now the next point, it is the shoulder blade area or across the back where you would measure. It's not a point that you see and you could just do the reference between the notch and the shoulder. Just do it by highs, it's no problem. It won't change anything. We just need a reference. Now when you have it, you just place the basic over your reference point. Move the ruler until it's parallel to the grain line. And like the other point, you're going to dot the size that you need. Here it's the larger size. The next point we're doing is the underarm point. And here you see that I placed two grading. You have the vertical one that is 0.3 per size, or let's say 1 8 of an inch per size. We're not going to use it to do the underarm point. It's an extra grading that you could use for other situations. For example, I use it when I grade collar. With the measurement that I put at the neck, this is the perfect grading for a collar. The grading I'm using for the underarm is the more horizontal one. And as usual, we're going to place the basic size right on the underarm point. Place your ruler, move it until it's parallel to your center point, the size that you need. Here it's the larger size. 
Now, since we're at the bust level, I'm going to right away ask you to grade the pivot of the waist dart. So again, you're going to use your basic, put it right over your trace line, move your ruler until it's parallel with the center, and just point or dot the size that you need. We continue with the side seam and waist point. Place your pattern hole right on the basic size and you overlap with the trace line on your paper. Hold it and pivot until you place your ruler parallel with the center and you dot the size that you need. On the ruler, you see an extra grading for a princess line that is move a bit towards the side seam. I'm not using that grading and it, it's an extra one. I'm going to use the normal princess line grading that I will place on one of the notch of the waist dart. I'm going to place the basic size over one of the notch. Make sure that your ruler is parallel with the center and dot the size that you need. One last point to grade is the center at the waist. So we place the basic size exactly on the trace line and I make sure that the line is parallel with the center. I'm just going to dot my larger size. Now I want to make a little precision about the size I'm using. As you know, my blocks are size 10. It's a medium size, so very often we start the grading by the middle like that. But if your basic block or basic pattern is, for example, a large or size 14, let's say, you could use the gray color as your basic and that's the one you would put on your trace line. If, for example, your basic pattern is a small size, you could use the blue, for example, as your basic. So you would overlap always the blue over your trace line. We're done with the grading. So now we could just trace. Because your block has some straight line, I suggest you start tracing your straight line. I have a straight line on both sides of the dart at the shoulder. I have a straight line for the side seam. And you could also do the first part of the waist from the center to the notch because that's the one I graded. Now we're going to do the curves. I'm going to start with the neck. Remember to keep 90 degrees so you don't touch the first part, let's say three centimeter, an inch, an inch and a quarter. You don't touch that part. When we trace to reach the new uh, neckline and shoulder point, you're going to move a little bit towards the side seam and a little bit towards the top. Trace a little bit, do it again, a little bit right, a little bit up, trace some more, and one more time. Then we could just fix the line to make it a little soft. For the shoulder dart, you're just going to make sure that you're placing your block exactly on the point that you grade. And we're just going to indicate the two notches, the jog of the dart or the arrow of the dart and the pivot. Next line is going to be the armhole. That's the easy part. You just place it touching the shoulder and arm all point and touching the shoulder blade level that you grade and just trace, elongate your line, maybe one centimeter or three eighths of an inch. Now we're going to grade the bottom part of the arm all, and this is the hardest part to trace of the whole bodice. I decide today to do the larger size possible in one shot because the bigger difference, the harder it is. So I'm having here the biggest difficulty. You notice that I did a little mark on my block at the across shoulder, so same place that I grade. Now you're going to place your block so you have pretty much the same measurement over here and over there. So you see pretty much the same. I'm going to trace not further than the notch. And then I'm going to move my block a little bit 
towards the side seam a little bit down trace a little bit little bit all that while putting back my block pretty much parallel to the original position you'll see i'm going to move quite often so i will keep pretty much the same shape that i have for my original block Once it's done, you just make sure that you have a nice continuous line and just make sure that you have pretty much the same shape. It's just like you stretch it a bit. Now we're going to trace the dart at the waist. We did grade only one of the notch, the first one from the center. So we're going to overlap the block on that first notch make sure that your block is parallel to your center and we're going to trace the notch the jog of the dart and the other notch and also trace a little bit on the other side of the dart the last part i'm going to trace it with my ruler the grading is finished we had a size 10 we now have a size 22 that's one of the largest grading i wouldn't recommend it for woven but it would be a good grading to do for knit the reason why is that usually a size 22 would be a different block with a little bit different in the shape but my purpose was to show you a large grading and the difficulty of doing the curve of the armo that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I see you soon.